Hey everybody, welcome back to Lloyd's Comics Collectibles. I'm Aaron, as always, and uh, we're going to do a little bit of a figure review slash unboxing today, and a little bit of a heads up because of my man child. I got a package from Ringside Collectibles, and I want to get my figures open, so if I'm wearing the same shirt in, say, three videos, it's because they were filmed all on the same day. So up first here we have Big E of the New Day in the Mattel Retros series. And I'm going to do all three of them together because, well, I got them together. And I figured it'd be kind of cheap just to do one video on each and to show you the action of the figure. I figured we'd need some more figures to throw them around. So we're going to open up Big E here. And before we do, he does like a gorilla press slam even though they're calling it the big end and, and that's kind of the funny thing is that these are made to simulate the Hasbro line of toys that came up back in the day I didn't really collect wrestling figures back then like I remember I think I had a Macho Man maybe that was at my granny's in the playroom and it's really weird because I've always loved wrestling. And. Sorry, guys, finally gone up. And I was in the toy stores in like the 90s during the big comic book, and I just never really got picked up wrestling figures. It's just weird. So, a little bit of backstory is why I collect wrestling figures is. I was watching um, Zack Ryder and Kurt Hawkins or Matt Cardona and Brian Myers' YouTube channel, and. I loved watching them go figure hunting and seeing the excitement they had for, you know, collecting wrestling figures. And I was like, well, I like wrestling. I love wrestling. So they sort of inspired me to start a collection. And if you're an anime fan, you know chibis are like the real cute, small figures they make with the big heads. And I sort of like, I kind of want a small run of toys to collect. The Mattel Retro series, I think, went for... Eight series, and I think this one's five. Could be wrong, don't hold me to that because it doesn't say on the box that I can see offhand, but it says it was copyright 2017. So I was like, well, these are kind of like wrestling sort of chibi figures, and they're sort of a knock back to an older toy, and they're not as expensive. So I figured I'd start here for like a collection that was going to be a whole run of toys, whereas my other Mattels are I pick up wrestlers that I like or tag teams that I like and stuff like that. Well, anyway, that's enough of my backstory. Let's get to opening this <coughs> bad boy. Well, if I can figure out how to open an action figure better. It's got tape on it. From Mattel. Okay. Let's get the packaging out of the way. It's not important. Um, all of the um, Mattel figure, the well, not the, all the Mattel figures. The uh, retros come with a base, which is cool, because I don't like my wrestling figures falling over all the time. And here's Big E himself. Looks pretty good for you know, a for a Hasbro look-alike figure, you know. And I believe his action is you pull his arms back like so, and he throws the person down. So let's see. I've got the first one I bought on a uh, ringside classical side. I got Woods because. He's a video game nerd like me, so I like, well, I have to pick one for now. I'm going to get Woods. So I guess what you do is, can you see him? Yeah, we'll put him right here. Is I guess, I don't know, because it, it, it goes down like that. I feel like any pops, you can hear the, the hands pop there. I feel like they need to be up more, I guess. So you take, like, Woodsy here. And it, well, it's partially because the hands aren't flat. He's doing like that. But you got him, and see if we can get 
I also have to hold it, so let's see. Let's try to use <laughs> the pivot at the hips or at the waist so it's hard to. And then. Uh, oh, then my hair got, but he slams woods, right? So that's pretty cool. I mean, it, it works, but. I feel like if the hands were flat, maybe it would work a little bit better. But, uh. I mean, it's a good little figure. Looks like. <laughs> looks like Big E. With his face and. Mine came, I just opened it, and this is a sign that, you know, always they don't come perfect. There's a little bitty spot back there that I'm not sure if it's, if it's something from the factory or if the paint got chipped there. I have to look, I might be able to give him a fig bath of some kind, but, um, articulation on this, he swivels at the hip, the legs don't move up or down, and then his big end in action and the head kind of moves because his mouth's open as you can see the jaw hits on the on his chest so it can all sort of do that a little bit but I mean it's a cool little figure um, well, I guess go ahead and get him out of the way because I did buy the three pack but like I said I have a wood so Right here is my woods. But so you can see him in in the packaging. There's woods in the package. Playing his trombone. And on this one, it says he has you pull Xavier Woods' arm to the side, hit the honor roll. So to show you you pull him to one side and he sort of tilts and then I guess he flings the guy. So it's kind of like Big E's, but it's different. So we'll get my woods here to show you, because I'm not opening that one, but there he is with his with his curly boots for the stomping, you know. Sorry, you know. Throw them down on the ground and stomp them with your curly boots. Is, well, you can't see it. Where am I? There I am. Stomp them with the curly boots, as, as Woods likes to say when he's playing, <laughs> playing the wrestling games. Um, does he he does turn it to waist like Big E? The arm, the legs don't move. His arms do go up and down, and he has slightly more head movement than. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got more head movement than E, because if you can look, because E's a big man. Those the shoulder muscles. His are, I'd say, more pronounced than Woods's, so Woods can get, say, that far. Whereas E can, like, I'm kind of forcing it there, and he gets there. So they are a little bit different, but let's see how this, this, oh, the honor roll. See, yeah, yeah, Woods, Woods kind of holds them better. Like, that was... Now probably when you do this, it's just probably going to go to pot, but, well, I don't know about that. Yeah, I don't think the spring's going to be, sorry the pups are running around and barking. Well, I got it the first time like it was nothing. Let's try. There we go. Let's see if I can get his arm Any kind of throws. The spring's not like super strong, strong enough. But like if you got a, you're trying to sort of balance the figure up here and not drop that. You know, it's not going to fling him real hard. But it's like I said, they're real cool. And this one's probably one of my favorites because, uh, well, it's Kofi, but last guy of the new day but um if you've seen Kofi's build Kofi's a tall sort of skinny guy <laughs> and I laugh because in the retros line they all sort of have similar bodies and this figure cracks me up because it's it looks like a super buff Kofi sorry I know there's a little bit of a glare there I'll try to figure out a but just his upper body is Let's see if I can 
maybe block a little bit of the one of these that'll help. Okay, yeah. But there's Kofi in the packaging, but he's got a super thick upper body, unlike Kofi. But there he is in the packaging with the stand. And there's the back. Again, sorry guys, it lights a little bit bright, but I'll, I'm trying to figure out a way to set this up for you guys to be able to see better because I do this at my hobby desk where I do a mini painting. And it says, push Kofi's torso down. It's trouble in paradise. So, looks like you push him down and then he sort of, not like a leaping headbutt or a leaping punch punches people but let's see here let's get let's see if I can get the there we go there's a good clean clean, clean tear oh and if I didn't show you they're all the same but I think that's Woods's base he has a yellow base where I think well there's either way there's both bases because I've done got confused in my head there the same design, but they're colored different. I think Ease was the pink one. Okay, this one's a bit different. Okay, there's... There's Kofi. I'm trying to get him close to the camera because sometimes that helps. Looks pretty good, you know. For... And this one, unlike the others, because of his action, does not pivot at the hips, if you can see. I mean, he did. I guess he does a smidge. I wouldn't really call that a pivot. And it looks like the boots are a separate piece. So, yeah, there's no lower body movement here. You can move the arms. And he's got roughly the same head movement is woods and he's got a little place to put your fingers in the back to do his his jumping action which is cool because you know Kofi is Kofi is known for his speed down the tag team like in my mind like if you classify the tag team he is your power guy woods is your jack of all trades reasonably strong and reasonably fat and Kofi's the speed guy so it's cool that like since all, a lot of his offense is high flying and high speed that his is a jump move. Granted, I don't know how well this is going to work in theory. But he had his hand up like this. Let's see if we can... I'll hold Big E by the foot. Well, let's, let's switch this to what you guys need to see. Let me... I'll see, there they both... See, this awesome. So let me... Here, I'm going to tilt the camera down just a smidge, guys. So you can see this. So there let's do it this way so you can see Kofi better there we go so you got Big E and you got Kofi and you take your finger you load him up and I guess you gotta angle him and wow that <laughs> that there we go okay that was way better that worked out but well if I can hold it that worked out more like how it's supposed to huh I guess I'm just bad at playing with toys. And then he's supposed to fall. So, it, I mean, it works. It's, it's, it does what it's supposed to do. It's not going to wow you. He, like, if I'm just trying to make him, I guess, jump. If you do it right, he, it gets some air. So, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can get, Woods looks like he's passed out there. We gotta see if we can get, like maybe he's gonna do the boom drop. Maybe there you go. See, so it's got some playability. That really, that tickled me way more than it had any right to. But um, yeah, I man, they're great. Kofi, your straight legs are not making this easy on me. Okay, but they're great. A little group of figures. I mean, they're not. I think the retros, and this depends because I guarantee the older runs of retros are probably more expensive, but I mean, these are anything from 6 to I think around $15 a piece, depending. I mean, if you can catch them on ringside when I did, I think 
Kofi and E were seven or eight dollars each, and I didn't see. Unfortunately, they didn't have where well, you could order them separately at the time. I don't think so. I had to get the triple pack, which is fine. I've got an extra Woods, but they're a good little <laughs> figure collection. If you want something to get into figure collecting or wrestling figure collecting, it's not super expensive. They're done like the Hasbro lines they have little gimmicky actions you can still obviously you know play with them but they don't have the articulation of the elites or really even the basics but I don't know the charm there's something about them I really like so they will definitely go in my collection and out of this series I think the only thing I am missing which I didn't show you guys before I tore the package up. I'll show you on Woods. This run had the New Day and um, NWO Macho Man. So all I need is Macho Man to finish this series of rare shows and then I'll pick the next one to get. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I have to go look through because what I'm doing at first is trying to pick series that have a couple of guys in it I actually won't versus just going in order so I'm going to have to look through and see what my next one's going to be after I finish this but they're really cool they look like the guys cartoony a little bit but I mean nothing I feel like I'm I'm, I'm taking a dump on these, these feet they're not bad they just are what they are done to be like the Hasbros and they do what they're supposed to do you're not going to be able to sit there and do like really cool poses, uh, poses like you can with the elites or the um, ultimates, ultras, whatever that is. No, I have one, but I, I can't remember. It's either ultimate or ultras. I think it's ultimates. But um, and if you got kids that might be interested in figure collecting and you want something they can kind of play with that isn't super expensive, because. When I was a kid, I had a $5 a week allowance, so, like, I was getting $5 toys unless I saved up for, like, a deluxe Beast Wars back in the day, which I think was $10. For, like, a young collector in your life that maybe you want to give them something they can collect, these are pretty affordable, and they can play with them, and... I mean, I don't think you're going to break these guys. I mean, you could, honestly, if you remember as a kid, like, we found ways to break things, but they're not going to break super easy on you. So I think it'd be a good place for a young collector. They're entertaining and something they can enjoy. Anyway, guys, I hope you had fun looking at these guys. I'm going to try to do a written review for them with more pictures for you guys to really get a look because I feel like my screen's whiting out a little bit. So go check over there at the blog. Link will be in the description. Follow us on here, obviously, and Facebook and Twitter. Um, I've got two more figures I'm probably going to shoot a review for today. And there'll be more coming down the road. Always thank you for, the time, for your time. And just love what you do and share it with people. Later, guys.